Well, fall may be on the horizon, but there's still time to savor the flavors of summer, including delicious fresh seafood. And here with one dish you're going to want to dive into this weekend is chef, best-selling author, and our friend Rocco Despirito. Welcome back. Good to thank see you. Thank you so much. You. Great to be here. Always nice to see you. I'm you know, always so happy when you're here. Thank you very much. I usually bring food, so I'm sure it's not purely objective. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I usually come with puppies, too, for some reason. They're always I here. I well, Rocco yeah. and puppies yeah. go hand in hand. But listen, um, you're, you're going to make bluefin crudo today. Yeah. Yeah, so big popular dish now, right? Yeah. 20 years ago when we were starting out, when you were starting out two years ago, me 20 years ago, <laughs> bluefin and crudo, anything crudo was very controversial. People didn't want to eat raw seafood. Yeah, I know. That's crazy, but it's obviously safe. you got to go to the right people, make yes. sure that it's fresh. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's like the first thing to do is how you slice it, mm -hmm. and it shouldn't be intimidating. Yeah. So let's show everybody. Buy it from a great source. Make yeah. sure you slice it thin and not too thin. Sorry, I'll move no it. Problem. That's, That's my okay. water. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> this is wild bluefin from Montauk Waters. I already sliced them, but basically yeah. you want a super sharp knife. Um, probably want to wear gloves when you're at home. Yeah. No one's going to eat this, so don't, don't worry about that. And you want to slice a thin-ish, but also enough for you to get a nice bite. Yeah. You want to you be able to chew a little bit on the uh, tuna itself. So, and the whole, the whole mm -hmm. key to this, too, is the sharp knife, right? <laughs> sharp knife is the key to everything. You know what it's I mean? It's the key to happiness it's in this, in this happiness. world. People are always afraid yeah. of sharp knives, but you yeah. can actually cut yourself with a dull knife more than a sharp For knife. sure. Yeah, you absolutely can. Because yeah. it's when it's dull and you go to cut something that's a little firm like this, it will slip into yes. your fingers. So sharp knife cuts right through. Yeah, it, right, should, so, it should shave the hair on your arms. Yes, for sure. <laughs> um, so season it, it yep. with really well. Season it with lots of things, uh, lots of citrus, lots of salt, oils, flavored oils, um, a little salad like I have here. So yeah. I'm going to start with lemon juice, and I've already salted it. Yep. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And these lot. are obviously easy things that people yep. have mm -hmm. and can get. Exactly. Any of these vegetables will be great. Yep. Um, now I'm going to put uh, Japanese purple radishes on here that I actually am growing right now. Oh, they those grow are really so easy. Yeah. I, didn't, I don't think I've ever grown radishes. So, you know, you just put them in the ground about that big, and two weeks later, you have giant radishes. Oh, my God, I'm going to do that. They need no care whatsoever. So, I'm good at growing zucchini because they do oh, the same yeah, thing. They're really yeah, they easy do the same to grow. Thing, but, sure. um, but you're also you're working with City Harvest, yes. um, which you do all the time. And yes. September is Hunger Action Month. That's so right. tell us what, what that is and how yeah. people can get involved. So City Harvest, of course, is the first and the biggest and, dare I say, the best food rescue program in New York City. We've been both been involved in them for a very yeah. long time. You know, I have all the talking points. You know, one in five, three million New Yorkers are not sure where their next meal is coming from. Yeah. You guys know the stats. But what I need you to know more importantly is that City Harvest is the real deal, super legit. I've been with them on the yeah. ground. They do the work they say they do, and they put the money to really good use. A dollar buys something like eight to ten meals. Think Amazing. about that. They have like a dollar multiplying machine. Yeah, I've done the whole like pick up the food, go on the truck, deliver it, mm -hmm. bring it to the... Um, yeah, where people are bring eating. Bring it to the pantries, the food bring pantries. Bring it to the food pantries. Yeah. And yes. then, you know, people may not realize this, but you know, food needs are higher than ever. You know, terrible since COVID. Uh, we haven't really returned back to normal levels. Yeah. What is this? This that you're is putting on an here? Aleppo pepper syrup. So lemon juice, Ooh. a little sugar will help balance a little Aleppo pepper, which is you know, a spicy, a little a spicy little, not too too spicy, <laughs> and then some grapefruit. And that's just going to kind of balance that heat yeah, a little exactly. bit. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So so we're thinking about. Layers of nuanced flavor, sour, salt, sweet, bitter, and all of it should come together in one nice bite. Which you are the master you could, at. You can keep putting things Just on here. I've got dill, I have but cilantro. You know, while we have you here, though, I yeah. want to ask you a couple sure. of like trendy food things that are happening. Are and gotcha I want to get, yeah, well, get your stance okay, on it. Wait, so pumpkin spice season started in August. What do you think about okay, that? Okay, we, we all <laughs> love pumpkin spice latte. It's delicious, of course, and I know they're selling it already, but give us give us three more days. Three <laughs> yeah. like more days to extract every bit of you know, summer know. fun. So okay. I'm talking to you, Ron Dijon. I had it out with a friend of mine <laughs> oh, on really? IG about this. Yeah. Oh, really? He was already posting some, you know, pumpkin lattes a week ago. And oh, I, had, I had it out with him. I had enough. No, you must wait, Ron. <laughs> girl dinner. Girl dinner. Yeah, what's have that? You got to tell me what that's about. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a lot of those. Yeah. Girl dinner, which, I, which I'm not a total girl dinner in that you, it's something really easy. You put on a plate. Uh -huh. It doesn't have to be fussy. Okay. It's not a whole meal. It's just yeah. like the things, the bites okay, and the nibbles sure. that you really like want. It. Yeah. What's a man dinner? Okay, so this is at home. You're talking about at yeah. home, not in a restaurant. A uh, man dinner is a grill and meat, probably, and, you know, many 24 packs of beer. Yeah. That's probably what man dinner <laughs> man is. Man dinner. Be. <laughs> uh, so anyway, Very simple. You made a delicious, delicious dish Crudo. for yeah, us. Yeah, exactly. Um, you can head to cityharvest.org for more info on mm -hmm. Hunger Action Month. And be sure to follow Rocco at yes, Rocco Despirito please. for everything That's he's me. got going on. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank always you so much. Always you. great to see you, too.